All month, we are sharing important stories of heart health. And this morning, we are going to meet a survivor named Brittany Williams. She is sharing her story in the hopes of saving lives. In 2014, I was 24 years old, working in accounting and living a busy, active lifestyle in Florida. That December, on a trip to New York City with my parents, my life changed forever. We were at a busy midtown Manhattan bar when, without any warning, I went into cardiac arrest. I was unresponsive and didn't have a pulse for nearly two minutes. Two bystanders rushed over and immediately began performing CPR. It was their quick action that saved my life. After waking up from an induced coma two days later, doctors diagnosed me with long QT syndrome, a disorder that causes fast and chaotic heartbeats. I underwent surgery to get an implantable pacemaker and defibrillator. The experience initially left me in a state of constant fear of future episodes, but I knew deep down that I had gotten a second chance at life and I wasn't going to waste it. So I embraced a new purpose, to educate others on heart health and encourage everyone to learn CPR so there can be more stories with endings like mine. Oh, that's good. It's great. And Brittany yeah. is here with us this morning now, along with cardiologist Dr. Stacy Rosen, SVP for Northwell Health's Cats Institute and a volunteer with the American Heart Association. And we should note, uh, Dr. Rosen did not treat Brittany, but you are obviously here to talk about <laughs> heart health and all the importance around it. Um, so, Brittany, let's start with you. You're 24 years old. You're otherwise healthy. So this did come as a shock, but you actually say the week before you were beginning to notice some random symptoms. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had no idea. So the week leading up to our trip, it was on Wednesday, I was at work and all of a sudden my left side of my body went numb and tingly. Mm -hmm. And I kind of sat back and thought, oh no, this doesn't feel right. This is not what I feel like on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm -hmm. So of course I Googled, what does it mean mm -hmm. when the left side of your body goes numb and tingly and three things came up, stroke, heart attack, cardiac arrest. Mm -hmm. I sat there, kind of took a deep breath. The feeling was getting worse. So I ran to my boss and I said, hey, listen, this is what I feel and I don't feel right. Mm -hmm. And I explained to her what I saw online. And she's like, Brittany, you're 24 years old. Yeah. You run five miles a day. You eat extremely healthy. That would never happen to you. Mm -hmm. And I trusted her because that makes sense. I didn't know at the, at the time, young, 24 years old, mm -hmm. that that would happen to me. And three days later, I was on the ground in a restaurant in Times Square with no pulse. And two oh, doctors goodness. came over, performed CPR for eight minutes and mm -hmm. brought my pulse back. What do you remember about that day that in that restaurant? Yeah, so I don't really remember too much. Like the day of, we were shopping, we were going to Tiffany's. So did it come the... suddenly? Like you didn't feel that tingling that you mentioned right before your cardiac arrest? No, it was just a few days prior. And then right mm. when we got to the restaurant, my mom and dad looked over and they thought I was having a seizure. Oh my gosh. But my eyes rolled just to the happened. back of my head and I just collapsed and I was unresponsive. Wow. Dr. Rose, let's bring you in here because Brittany said she <laughs> felt off. What do you want to tell folks who just think something might not be right? To listen to your body. Uh, heart disease affects young people, old people, thin, healthy runners. Mm -hmm. And when you feel something isn't right, act on it. Be your best advocate. Mm -hmm. Call your doctor. Have a clinician whom you trust. Mm -hmm. And ignore the people who tell you it's nothing. It's in right. your head. You know, we learned, honestly, I was just telling Dylan before the show this morning, when DeMar Hamlin collapsed, mm -hmm. like people started to learn the difference between a heart attack and uh, cardiac arrest, mm -hmm. right? So cardiac arrest is like electric, right? It's a, mm -hmm. it's a rhythm issue. For you, are you okay? Like, do you still experience symptoms? I mean, it's no surprise, like you said, you were a little nervous at first. Yeah, mm -hmm. so um, I, ha I learned that I had to get an implantable pacemaker defibrillator to prevent episodes from happening in the future. And I was kind of scared because I didn't know sure. what life was going to be like on the other yeah. side of things. And. I told myself I wasn't going to feel bad for myself. Instead, I was going to make it my mission to spread that awareness and how mm -hmm. important CPR really is because CPR saved my life. And, yeah. and if everyone learned CPR, mm -hmm. wouldn't you want to be that person to jump mm -hmm. into the action and save the other person's life? So then everyone's a lifesaver. Exactly. They're all out there and exactly. you can go through life knowing that. Um, so you were diagnosed with long QT syndrome. Yeah. Is that something that develops over time? Is there a family history of it? I'm, where does that come from? Yeah, it could be either, actually. The heart we always think of as a muscle muscle that pumps, but it's actually got an exquisite electrical mechanism, hmm. and that electrical impulse makes the heart pump. Long QT can be something that you're either born with, called congenital or hereditary, mm -hmm. or you can acquire it later in life. Mm -hmm. And it causes an electric disturbance that makes the heart rhythm chaotic, and then the heart can't pump normally. And after a few seconds, you lose consciousness. I think this is an important way to close here. So we have about a minute left. In addition to your doctors, you credit those bystanders mm -hmm. with saving your life. Tell us about them, and did you stay in contact with them? Oh, yes. And it's just, I'm so thankful that I was able to meet the two men that saved my life, because a lot of people don't get that opportunity. Here they are. So 
So were they just at the bar at the time? Yeah, they. Uh, Brandon came after his post shift at the hospital, and then Nick was there just meeting a friend. Because he's not a he's a he's not a phys or he's a. They're both ophthalmologists. Ophthalmologists. Yes. Yeah. I'm like, what are the odds? Like in there right. at the same place at the same time, and wow. they heard our cries for help, and they came over and saved my life. And you still keep in touch with them? I do. So every time my heart anniversary comes around, I thank them. I'm like, how much can I thank you guys? Like, wow, you right. saved my life. And one of them was actually at my wedding. Aww. And he moved back to Tallahassee, Florida, where I was born and raised, and Aww. works at the facility where my dad gets his eyes checked. Oh, what? That's bizarre. Yeah, it's such you a guys small were like world. Mentally connected yes. in so, this strange way. But it's just like, how much can I thank them? Like, they saved my life. And, and I'm so anyone thankful. can do this. Mm -hmm. Anyone Anybody. can do this. Right. You don't mm -hmm. have to be a doctor. You don't have to be a doctor. Physician. Heart.org slash three. Mm -hmm. Heart.org slash three. And it's a quick there. video. Quick right? video. Yeah. Okay. Call 911. Mm -hmm. Push hard and fast. Okay. Wow. Brittany Very and Dr. Easy. Rosen, thank you so much. Thank you. So good. Thank you. Um, and by the way, today's episode of Start Today on our streaming channel today all day. It's focused on improving your heart health. You can catch it this morning at 10 a.m. on today.com slash all day or streaming on Peacock. Thank you, guys. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.